I've made a bunch of low body models, but I've always loved the PS1 aesthetic. So today I'm going to be going through like a couple different tips and tricks to be able to take your low body models and make them look PS1. Let's go. The first thing you can do is just start simplifying your model a little bit. So the very easy things to do is kind of like separating the limbs. So usually what happens is like you can have two different types. You can either have it where they separate like every specific type of limb. So you can do like they separate your hand and your forearm and your bicep and your like chest, whatever. You separate every single thing and then like you don't even have to like kind of rig it. It's kind of just your model doesn't have to bend at all. Then you can have the other type, which is like it would be like the entire upper body and then like the lower body and legs are joined together. So then upper body and then like your arm, your whole arm is joined together with your hand being separate. So just stuff like that. You can separate it a bit over different ways, but that's kind of what happens with your models. Then also just making them a bit lower poly, like just making it super low poly. If you want to like stay true to the original thing, just lower your resolution a lot. You can find some models online of actual games. I think it's something like the model resource or the model warehouse or something, something like that. There's one site out there that has a bunch of different games and you can find PlayStation 1 games. So you can actually download those and like analyze them and see how those models were done. So yeah, first step, just simplify your models. Get them like nice and simplified so that you have something to work with later on. And then we have the UV unwrapping. UV unwrapping is basically taking your model and turning it into like 2D so you can start adding textures to it. Now there's two different types of doing this. It's either like normal UV unwrapping or smart UV project. This is just the fast way and the long way. If you have the fast way, then it's bad quality. But if you take the long way, then it's good quality. So it just depends on how much time you have and how important this character is. So if you don't care too much, I'll show you how to use the smart UV project to get your characters. Okay, so here is my model over here. So firstly, what we have to do is we have to go add some materials and add some images. So I'm just going to click new. This is for my whole character. Just go base color, click on the dot, click image texture, new. Usually it always comes out to a 128 and I like putting it on color grid just to kind of see when I'm UV unwrapping, how everything is actually turning out. You can also give us a name. So let's just go like change it, doesn't matter. Especially if you work with a lot of characters, then you actually want to name it something significant. Then I'm just going to add this because like it's just I want to see the face I have to uh, remove them but yeah now if I go to material preview mode you can see this is what our model look, looks like right now and the reason is because I've actually UV unwrapped this thing before with the smart U project now basically how does this thing works if I go U smart U project you can see it kind of comes out to this like mess of vertices and whatever you have a couple of things you can play around with it is the island margin uh, which is basically like how much space is in between so if i set this to zero you can see everything is kind of like right up to each other you don't want this the reason is with your pixels they'll start overlapping and then on like one part of the body you'll see like random colors from another part of the body so drag up this island margin a bit i think i was using like 0 0.008 or something uh 0 0.008 there we go Smart new project is not great just because you can see like the colors are just kind of random. You can see like this whole part of the arm kind of just like splits off. It's not great. If you want to follow it properly, I have some UV unwrapping tutorials. I'll leave one up here or in the description. So let me just talk quickly about some couple of tips. When you're working with it, make sure that the most important parts are bigger on your UV map. Using this like thing that we've done is very useful because you can kind of see like how big and how detail is in relation to each part. So it depends, you can either have it so that every part has the same level detail, so then the pixels won't change size, but if you want like the, something like the face, if you have a face in your character, that needs more detail than something like a foot or the bottom of the foot. So you can kind of change it to where stuff that doesn't matter are smaller. So I mean, as I said, the bottom of the foot, that could just be shadow. So I mean, you can make that just really small and it covers like a couple pixels in the bottom right or something. It doesn't have to take up much space because it doesn't have to have detail there. So make sure that you kind of like optimize your UV maps a bit so that you're not wasting space for your textures and all of that. If you haven't already, go check out my Discord, link down below. You can come chat with me or other people about your blended problems or anything. Yeah, see you there. So if you want to see your image actually without like it blurring, I'm just going to change it from linear to closest on the image. Right, so you can see it's like, it's a decent level of pixels, uh, but yeah. Let me kind of show you a couple different tricks for texture painting. So I'm just going to go to texture painting mode. 
and you can see we already switch over you can see all your like kind of vertices over your image and yeah so the quickest way and the easiest way to paint your characters are using textures so what i mean by that if i go texture and you can see i already kind of have one here but if i just click new click on this little settings button uh, you can see over here just click open and i'm going to go grab some images from i think so you can see here this little cloth thing this is basically just a stencil that we're going to use to kind of color our thing so on this texture make sure you have stencil on i think by default it's like tile change your stencil now what happens with this uh click image aspect but yeah um, once you've done this you can see you have an image here now you can move it around with right click uh, control right click to rotate and shift right click to scale um, so you can see here this is kind of what happens so what's cool with this is when we can like put a chair if we give it a color and just paint you can see it kind of already gives us like a texture to our thing now this is a bit too dark you can see the blacks are just a bit too black and my color is even just like quite contrasty but whatever um, you can see it doesn't give me that original color that i kind of want i just want to have like a slight variation not mu that much variation so what i can do is go back to the texture tab go colors and the contrast tab i'm just going to drag this down and maybe drag off the brightness a bit uh, i think it's a bit too much let me drag the contrast back up but basically we're saying just like make the colors more similar and you can see here now it's more like it's very similar colors it's just adding some slight variation now especially if you have a high resolution or just like you have two uv maps for your character and you've uv maps it properly then you can start using like other images to add even more detail to it so say for example that you just have like a leg i know it's a plane but who cares so what we could do with this is we could start grabbing different textures so if i just go get rid of that click new make a new texture and then open up another image i'm going to grab a cloth now with this we can actually start using this to paint our own cloth on our character so you can see so i mean this is like a quite a example because like um you'll be using less pixels in this but like if you just remove to there changes from linear to closest you can see like you can start stealing images actual texture now if you want you just to make these like black and white you can even just change it from here the saturation just drag down to zero um, and then mess around with brightness colors or contrast uh, just to be able to use images but you can start using images to build up your texture very quickly instead of having to paint it in yourself so grabbing images and stealing the texture from them is very useful so like for example let me do a face i mean his face is all green right now uh, but if i grab this go use mod u project and make this like super big let's just test it out another quick tip before we do that is if you select something in edit mode and then go back to texture paint and then just click on this little square you can see now you can only paint directly on this square uh all well, this like specific part you won't be able to paint on anything else which is quite cool but yeah let me grab another texture new open okay cool so hey i have a face uh, you can see it's very squished so i'm just going to go back to here change the image aspect reset transform there we go image aspect and you can see now the face is actually right size but you can see here if i change my color back to white like that so i'll just grab all these there um if we get the right size like here now paint you can see here his face gets automatically apart like yeah it looks terrible but who cares like you can see we can basically just start stealing textures and apply it very simply if you need so something like there you can see this not being applied correctly you kind of just like zoom in and then start using this to kind of like fill in sides you can see so even just grabbing like some skin just grab like a picture of an arm or something but even just something like that um, can just be used very quickly to kind of give it a bit of like shading light uh, all of that but yeah you can see it looks kind of wonky but it's a bit better when you do with some other textures so let me grab some more just gonna click new I'm gonna grab some metal so here's actually just a picture of nails and i'm going to use this just to kind of like paint on like you can see here if i just pull this here it can give us like an interesting texture obviously the image is way too low res so like if we're working with something with higher to say you needed like even a, like a rip in the side of his face if we have some sort of like thing in the side of his face you can see that we can give like some texture to it very simply with the most random images like possible 
like it just looks like he's ripped into his face and then you could go out even if you go switch back to the face and then just use um his lips as like a red color to go around or just use something else you could use just like a flesh kind of texture you can see there so just giving like an edge to it so you can start building up your colors very easily with these different textures uh, just start building a library of textures or just before you start working just go to google pinterest or something and just start like grabbing different like random images that could be useful to you 